if 4 over x plus 4 is equal to 16, then x is equal to. Alright, let me work it out. So the question is 4 over x plus 4 is equal to 16, and I want to define x. Alright, so algebra, simple, straightforward, direct algebra. Again, straight out of your question 2 in your C sec maths. Alright, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and boom! 4 over x plus 4 is equal to 16. Then x is equal to a, b, c, and d. We have the question written on the board here, so let me proceed. Algebra, heart and soul. Question 2 in the paper 2. We have our direct algebra here in the multiple shot. So, we go. The first thing you do is take the 4 on that side. So you get 4 over x is equal to 16 minus 4. 4 over x is equal to 12. Alright? Now, if 4 over x is equal to 12, then there are a couple ways you could approach this. One is by cross multiplying. So you see that 4 over x is equal to 12 over 1. And then I cross multiply, you'll get 4 on this side. 4 by 1 is equal to 12x. So you'll get 4 is equal to 12x. In which case, 4 over 12 is equal to x. 4 over 12 is 1 third. Therefore, x is equal to 1 third. I could do that. Or I could do this. I could, having gotten to this point, I could say 4 over x is equal to 12. I could divide the two sides by 4. In other words, I cross multiply. So I can say 1 over x is equal to 12 over 4. So instead of multiplying the 2 across to remove all the denominators, which is a traditional cross multiplication, I could just cross multiply on one side alone. Take this 4 and carry it across here. So I'll get 1 over x is equal to 12 over 4 which is to say then that 1 over x is equal to 2 over 4 is 3 and if 1 over x is equal to 3 over 1 then naturally x over 1 is equal to 1 over 3 so in other words x is equal to 1 2 right? so you get the same answer so I just presented two alternatives no hints or suggestion or direction from me as to which one to choose. You could choose either one. There may be other, alt other ways to do it too, and that is perfectly fine. The whole point is that whatever you're doing, do it correctly and get the correct answer. So in this case, the answer is one third, x equals one third. The answer is answer 